Well, so I'm, I'm, te- I'm, teasing, I'm teasing, I'm teasing, I'm <laughs> teasing. You mentioned that uh, Americans are frustrated. and in, in fact, 75% of voters say the country is heading into the wrong direction despite the results of last night. What in the next two years do you intend to do differently uh, to change people's uh, opinion of the direction of the country, particularly as you contemplate a run for president in 2024? Nothing, because they're just finding out what we're doing. The more they know about what we're doing, the more support there is. Do you know anybody who wants us to get rid of the change we made on prescription drug prices and raise prices again? Do you know anybody who wants us to walk away from building those roads and bridges and, and the Internet and so on? I don't, I, I don't know. I think that the problem is the major piece of legislation we passed, and some of it bipartisan, takes time to be recognized. For example, you got, you got over a trillion dollars worth of infrastructure money. But not that many spades have been put in the ground. It's taking time. For example, I was on the phone congratulating a Californian recently, and then someone in, uh, uh, up in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the congressman who got elected. He said, can you help us make sure we're able to have high-speed rail, ser- r- 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 rail service from Scranton to New York, New York City? I said, yeah, we can. We can. First of all, it'll make it a lot easier, take a lot of vehicles off the road. And we have more money in the, in the pot now, already, already out there, we voted for, than the entire money we spent on Amtrak to begin with. And it's the same way. For example, I talked about through the campaign that we're going to limit the cost of insulin for seniors to, to uh, $35 a month instead of 400 a month. Well, it doesn't take effect till next year. So there's a lot of things that are just starting to kick in. And the same way with what we've done in terms of the environmental stuff. It takes time to get it moving. So I, I'm not going to change. As a matter of fact, you know, there's some things I want to change and add to. For example, we had passed the most bipartisan, we passed the most extensive gun legislation, anti, you know, rational gun policy in 30 years. And, but we didn't ban assault weapons. I'm going to ban assault weapons. They're going to try like the devil. So I'm not going to change the direction. I said I ran for three reasons. I'm going to continue to stay where I am. And I know I fully understand the legitimate concern that what I'm saying is wrong, okay? One is that I said we're going to restore the soul of the country, begin to treat each other with decency, honor, and integrity. And it's starting to happen. People are st- the, 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 the conversations are becoming more normal, becoming more, more how can I say it, uh, um, decent. Second thing I said was I want to build a country from the middle out, the bottom up, and that way everybody does fine. I'm tired of trickle down. Not a whole lot trickles down when you trickle down to hardworking folks. And the third thing I know is still very hard. I'm going to do everything in my power to see to the, unite the country. It's hard to sustain yourself as a leading democracy in the world if you can't, ge- ge- can't generate some unity. So I'm not going to change anything in any fundamental way. 